Hello everybody, GamerPenny here, bringing you another episode of our The Council Let's Play. Let's go ahead and continue where we left off. Now it says, go to the tower room. I thought that was this. I guess not. We can't go there. Where's the tower room? What do we hear? Is that our footsteps making all that noise? Man, I don't know where to go. The tower room. Bum 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 ba bum ba dum ba -na. I have Final Fantasy 15 music stuck in my head. <laughs> I've been watching a because uh, I've I've finished the game and I have all the recordings ready to go for the channel um, but I've been watching some now that I finished it and uh, avoided spoilers so got to experience the game for what it is I'm watching some more playthroughs and uh, that's why it's stuck in my head <laughs> I think we went the wrong way but we should almost be there by now I don't know where the tower room is though George Washington. <coughs> Excuse me. Got something stuck in my throat. Did we do a 360? 360 no scope? No, not yet. We were almost doing that. If I were a tower room, where would I be? These are all guest rooms. This is kind of silly. I, I mean, I, I guess we should know how, know the way that this um, is laid out by now, but I don't. I I see you. A ruble. A ruble. Okay, here. Is this where we want to go? Emily Hillsboro. Can't go there. Really no. Um, over here, maybe? Where the hell is the tower room? <laughs> Hardest part of this game is trying to find where to go next. I do have to admit that I've heard from people who played this episode that this episode was slow and not as good as the first one. Maybe this is what they were talking about. Now nah, we did a complete 360. I really can't go back upstairs. I'm missing something. What's this? Is this it? Okay. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe that was what we were looking for. Wait, let's look down here. burnt papers in the chimney. There's a legible fragment left. Hey, I recognize my mother's handwriting. Ooh. She says... We must find a safer way to communicate. Someone is on to us. Trust in my faith in the man with the sword. So mother had an accomplice here. Who could it be? Who could she be suspicious of? I must find the next part. Faith, sword, 
I recognize her love of riddles there. We're full on royal jelly. Well, we might as well use one and pick this up. So we're at full. What's this? Dante's Paradise. Raise your head and be reassured. For what comes up here from the mortal world must ripen in our rays. Is this a piano? Earn. Man with the sword, huh? Carmelite water. St. Paul on the road to Damascus by Caravaggio. Caravaggio attained a magnificent command of black and the play of colors, too. Paul facing an ordeal, the curtains of his illusions being raised and receives the light from his savior. Hmm. Um, we can't do anything else with this. Nothing back here. Okay. <clears throat> I can't pick this up. What is it? Carmelite water. Well, we don't need it right now. Let's go in here. Locked. The door appears to be locked on the other side. Open. I think I heard something fall to the ground. A metallic sound, like like a key falling to the floor. I can't do any of these. Press to consult your notes. She says, We must find a safer way to communicate. Someone is onto us. Trust in my faith. Trust in my faith in the man with the sword. Trust in my faith. I can't leave. I'm stuck. There are burnt papers in the chimney. We already read these. There's a legible fragment left. Hey, I recognize my mother's handwriting. <coughs> she says, I must find a secret. Yeah, I know this already. Someone is on to us. Trust in my faith in the man with the sword. So mother had an accomplice here. Who could it be? We've already read this. Who could she be suspicious of? I must find the next part. Faith, sword. I recognize her love of riddles there. Yeah, we got it already. Man with the sword. Um, I mean, there's not much else we can do in here. Dante's Paradise. Raise your head and be reassured. For what comes up here from the mortal world must ripen in our rays. St. Paul on the road to Damascus by Caravaggio. She's got a spear. I can't do anything with that. I can't pick that up. Can't leave the room. Can't do anything with this door. And we can't leave. Can I do anything? Uh, are we stuck? <laughs> like... Literally, everything we can touch, we have touched.
What is this? Secures negative alteration. Displays vulner. Next skill use is free. Is that what this is and why they put one here? It won't let me do even with that. Can I pick this up? Okay, we have to be able to do something. St. Paul on the road to Damascus by Caravaggio. I remember the story. Okay, but we still can't do anything. Oh, something's here. This is disc. Okay. Pick it up. Take it. Lodestone. Can I get a new trait? Or can I get one of these? No. Okay, so something was there. Can't go out here. Now can I put something here? Saint yes, Paul we know. St. Paul on the road to Damascus. Can I do something with the door and the disc? Use the disc. We'll see if it works. Oh, we got the key. That was a needless puzzle. <laughs> it's open. Yeah, we can see that. All right, search around here everywhere. Every nook and cranny. A chest with the occult symbol representing air. I don't know. I don't know what to do with those chests. I don't care about paintings. The New Testament. A volume of the Glutenberg Bible. What ding dinged here? A uh, coin. Man with the sword is what we're looking for. It's St. John, painted by Guido Rini. Got a book. Several portraits of apostles, all signed by Guido Rini. It looks like someone touched this commode recently. Their fingerprints on the sheets and in the dust. Okay. Several portraits of apostles, all signed by Guido Rini. It looks like someone touched Guido this commode Rini. recently. Their fingerprints on the sheets and in the dust. I don't know why it lets us do it twice. What's this? Can't take it. What's this? More royal jelly? Yes. <coughs> okay, it has to be something with this book. Um, Gospels and the Acts of the Apostles. Back to the beginning. Oh my god. A volume of the Glutenberg Bible. And it came to pass in those days that 
Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John and Jordan. That's all. Um, why is this one on the floor? Who is this? Painting of St. Mark from the collection of the apostles by Guido Rini. Okay. That's St. Mark. I think I know what to do. That St. Mark. Who was this again? St. John. St. John. Painted by Guido Rini. And who is this? Mark, John... Drawing of the Apostle Matthew. And Matthew. Painted by Guido Rini. He's represented as writing the word of the Lord, transmitted by the Holy Spirit, who appears here in the guise of an angel. Okay. Matthew, Mark, and John. So here, the Apostles. No, Matthew. Yeah, Matthew, Mark, and John. Take heed that ye practice your justice before men, to be seen differently by them. Otherwise, ye shall have no reward of your Father, which is in heaven. Okay. Uh. But Jesus turned him about, and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith hath made thee whole, and the woman was made whole from that hour. Great multitudes were gathered together unto him, so that he went into a ship and sat, and the whole multitude stood on the shore. And said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they twain shall be one flesh. What I'm looking for is I'm looking for a sword. So we've got we looked at Matthew. We need to look at Mark. And it came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John and Jordan. And as they did eat, Jesus took bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to them and said, Take, eat, this is my body. That's what they read during communion. And behold, there cometh one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jerus by name. And when he saw him, he fell at his feet. Then came together unto him the Pharisees, and certain of the scribes, which came from Jerusalem. Okay, wasn't in Mark or Matthew. Let's look at St. John. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And he, bearing his cross, went forth into a place called the place of a skull, which is called in Hebrew, Gogotha. Hmm. I and my father are one. Now, there is a Jerusalem by the sheep market, a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, having five Bethesda. porches. Bethesda? They made fallout. Uh, I don't think, um, I didn't get what I wanted out of that. We have to be uh, to do something here. Several portraits of apostles, all signed by Guido Rini. Looks like someone touched this commode recently. There are fingerprints on the sheets and in the dust. So we can't do anything with them? Let's find a safer way to commit. Someone is on to us. Trust in my faith in the man with the sword. Who is this? Oh, this guy has a sword. St. Paul painted by Guido Rini. 
Not an evangelist. Four apostles shown in this piece. Paul is the only one who isn't an evangelist. He is the thirteenth apostle. He has a sword. Saint Paul is shown holding a sword. Strange. There's hardly any dust, as if the painting's been cleaned recently. There's a small inscription engraved on the frame. Let's take a closer look. This is how Paul spoke to his pilgrims from Rome. Just above that, someone's written down the figure 11 on the painting and underlined it twice. I don't know, what does that mean? Eleven. Who is this? Paul? St. Paul painted by Guido Rini. Paul. Thirteenth Apostle and Eleven. Paul and Eleven. Uh, contains two, one. Jesus, I don't know. Chapter 11, verse 11. I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid, but rather through their fall, salvation is come unto the Gentiles. For to provoke them to jealousy. Oh, wait, a note from Mother is carefully folded between Aha. the pages here. What does it say? Dear E, I'm glad you found this note. I was afraid the code of the two groups of pilgrims would mislead you. Pick up the package. You know where and hide it where no one will find it. It's imperative, awaiting your reply, hidden behind the youngest apostle. What? The youngest apostle? What does mother mean by that? Oh God. Follow the clues left by your mother in the Bible. I'm glad you found this note. I was afraid the code of the two p groups of pilgrims would mislead you. Pick up the package you know where and hide it where no one will find it. It's imperative. Waiting your reply hidden behind the youngest apostle. That's not the youngest. This must be. Scrutinize the frame. The painting looks like it's been taken down recently. But wasn't my mother said that she would wait for an answer hidden behind the apostle? Ah, of course. There's something written behind the painting. On the second day, the pilgrims will listen to the prophecy of the young apostle. They shall add one companion to their left and three to their right to complete their rank. What does it mean? Uh. St. John is the only <laughs> apostle painted in this gallery who has the youngest. Hey, wait. That means it's him. He's the youngest apostle. Right. This painting is therefore associated with the answer which E had to give to my mother. Now, I just need to know how to recover the answer. chest with the occult symbol representing air. It said one to the left and three to the right. Whatever that means. Several portraits of apostles, all signed by Guido Rini. Looks like someone touched this commode recently. Can I do Their something with this? On the sheets and in the dust. Still can't do nothing with this. There's nothing worth noticing here. Uh. Little characters are engraved on the chest of drawers under the urn. The sentence in Hebrew. I know what that means. It says, count in the dust. All right, let's do it. Count in the dust? 
Inspect the dusty piece of furniture. There are finger marks. Deliberately drawn in the dust. Eight and all. That's what the message in Hebrew spoke about. Hebrew eight. Sam and the candlestick? No. Nothing of value here. Behind the painting? It's too cumbersome for me to unhook here. But judging by the dust, it hasn't been moved for months, if not years. Little characters are engraved on the chest of drawers under the urn. Uh. It's a sentence in Hebrew. We already know what it means. Um. Okay. Well, we're going to go ahead and end the episode there. <laughs> I promise I'm not going to cheat. I might cheat a little bit if we get stuck. Um. But we're going to go ahead and end the episode there. We ran over on our time. Guys, thank you so much for all your support on this series. If you do want to see more of the Council Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Alright, bye-bye everyone.